Okay, let's begin by going up to uh, File, and then I'll go down to Set Projects. From here, you're going to locate your Cartoon Cat rigging folder. So wherever you placed it in um, on your computer after you've downloaded that, that folder, you just want to locate it. So in my situation, I've got it in Documents, My Projects. So I'll select that folder and hit Set. Now I'm going to go to File and Open Scene, and I'm going to open up Cartoon Cat Rig Start. Up here in the top left corner, you want to make sure you're set to animation. The module is set to animation, not polygons, okay? So that will give you the proper menu up here at the top of your screen. All right, so I'm going to now tap the space bar. I'm going to go over here to my side panel, and I'm going to start by zooming in or dialing in on the leg. We're going to start there. Let's go to display, and I'm going to go down to animation, and I'm going to go to joint size. Uh, normally the joint size is set to 1 and what I want you to do is for this particular character set your joint size to 0.25. Um, let's go up to skeleton and joint tool. I'll select that tool and I'm going to place this joint and actually I'm going to switch to let me turn on my wireframe on shaded. It'll be a little bit easier to see here. So I'm going to add in some joints here. When you create a joint chain, you just click and let go, and it creates uh, one joint. And then when you move your mouse and click to create a second joint, it connects to the first joint. And you can keep doing this um, as needed until you get to the end of the chain. When you're done with the chain, you just hit return, and that completes it. Now, sometimes um, you need to adjust the size of these joints. So what you would do then is select the joint, and then go over here to the channel box and change the radius. Let's say we needed the joints to be smaller. I could say 0.2 instead of 0.5. And what you need to do is you need to change each of these. So you select one and then hold down shift to select multiple of the joints. And then you can change it all to 0.2 if need be. So you can also do the same thing by um, selecting each joint and going larger if need be. Right? So you might need the joints to be, if your character is larger, your joints will need to be larger so they're easily visible. So you could change it to something like uh, one. You can see. Uh, for this size character, these joints are getting too large. Okay. All right, so we'll go back to our joint tool and we'll start on the leg. Okay, so I'm going to place my first joint right here where the leg meets the body. So I'm going to kind of just click and let go. And then I'm going to go down to the knee. Now I'm not going to go straight down, I'm going to go down and forward because I need a slight bend in the knee for our IK solver. So I'll add that. And then I'll go down to the ankle. Now I'm kind of going back to the center of the leg here. All right. Now I'm going to zoom in on the foot. And I'll add the next joint in um, right about here. Make sure you're all the way at the bottom of the foot here. And then I'll go all the way to the corner, kind of where the toe would be. And I'll add in a final joint right here. I'm going to press return to finish that chain. And then I'll zoom out here and tap the spacebar. And I'm going to um, just hit W and move this over into place. All right, so now I'm going to select it. And I'm going to rename these joints. So this is going to be bind underscore L underscore hip 01. And then I'll go to the next joint. This is the knee. So it's going to be bind underscore L underscore knee 01. And this is the ankle. So bind underscore L underscore ankle 01. So this is the foot joint, and the last joint right here, this is the end of the joint chain, so end underscore L, and then this will be uh, toe, zero, 01. Okay, so let's take a look here at the uh, 
joint chain on the front panel here. Just going to move this over a tiny bit. And I'll go back to my perspective panel here. So if we look at the chain here, um, if you look at each joint, each of these sphere objects, the x value is pointing down the chain. You can see right here, right here, it's always pointing in the direction the chain flow is going in, except for this last joint right here. So I'm going to select this joint, and I'm going to click on my attribute editor, and I'm going to check under the joint menu right here. And I'm going to change all these values to zero. So now that this uh, joint at the end here is in line with all of the other ones. Okay. That looks good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this joint chain. I'm going to mirror it across the Y, Z plane. Okay. So this is Z right here. This line right here is the Z, the Z axis. The Y axis goes up. We're going to mirror it across that plane. So I'll select the joints. I'll go to Skeleton. Go to the Mirror Joint Options right here. And it's already set to YZ. When you first open up this menu, it's going to be set to XY. So we're going to change it to YZ. And then I'm going to search for anything that has underscore L underscore. And I'm going to replace it with underscore R underscore, right? And then I'll hit apply, and that's going to just mirror it across the YZ plane. So I'll close that. Now we're all set for that. All right, so let's go on to the spine. Um, I'm going to go up to skeleton, joint tool, and I'm going to create kind of a pelvis or a, a base of the spine right here. Click and let go. Create another joint right here, here. Let's see, the next one will be up here at the head. That'll be for the head right there. And then here's the end of the chain right here, up here at the top. So I'm going to turn off the visibility on the mesh layer, and I'm going to snap all of these to the grid. So I'm going to hold down X and just click and drag until this thing is snapped to the grid. I'll do that for each joint. Okay. Okay, let's go over here to my side panel and what I want to take note of is if we look at the spine here, it's right along the Y axis, but our leg joint is not quite on that same axis. So what we want to do is we want to align these two uh joint chains. So I'm gonna to go to my uh perspective panel here. I'm gonna select the right leg and the left leg, and then I'm gonna select the uh base of the spine right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go up to Constrain, and I'm going to go to Point Constraint. And I'll just leave the settings the way they are, so Maintain Offset has been turned off. So I'll hit Apply. Okay, so I'm going to hit Close right here. And this has now aligned these two objects. So if I look at this now, the spine has been moved over a little bit. Okay, so now it's right in line with the leg. All right, so let me um, see here. I'm going to zoom out here. OK. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to delete that point constraint. We, don't, we just needed it to line up these objects, but we don't actually want that on our inside of our scene here. So I'm going to go to Joint 1, expand this, and I'll select Joint 1 Point Constraint, and I'm going to press Delete. Okay, so now we'll go back to our four panel view and let's um we need to move this back up. So let's select the uh joint at the bottom of that chain and we want to move this back up so that it is where it used to be, a little bit higher. So we don't want to move it on any axis except for the y axis. We want it to stay in line with the two um 
leg joints that we have down here, we just need to slide it back up to its original position in terms of its height in the Y axis. All right, that looks good. So let's see. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's go back over here. That's still in line there, and I think we're back to where we want it to be. Yeah, okay. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my geometry back on. All right, that looks good. So let's rename this stuff. This is going to be bind underscore. This is spine zero one. This is bind underscore spine zero two. This is bind underscore spine zero three. And this is the head joint. So we'll call this bind head zero one. And this is the end joint. So put an end. And this is uh, head zero two. And then let's go into our attribute editor right here and zero out the values on the orientation on that last joint right there. Okay, so let's go to our four panel view and um, we're going to put in the arm joint starting uh, in the front view and finishing in the top view. Now the reason that I'm going to finish in the top view is that I need the last three joints to be all on the same level. So they need to be at the same exact height uh, in terms of their Y value. Okay, that's because we're going to be putting in a IK solver for the elbow. And in order for that to bend correctly and deform correctly, those joints need to be all in one straight line. So we're going to start over here in the front panel. I'll turn on my wireframe on shaded. And let me uh, dolly in a little bit more here. So I'll go up to Skeleton Joint Tool, and I'm going to start by starting over here like where the clavicle would be. So we'll have a, a second joint here. And then I'll go up a little bit. And I'm going to put in the um, the shoulder joint right about here. Okay, so we've done the first two joints in the front panel. Now I'm going to switch over here to the top panel, and I'm going to go from this shoulder joint. I'm just going to go to where the elbow would be, and then I need to put a slight bend. So I'm going to go over to the uh, right here, and then go up a little bit to have that slight bend. And then I'll go for the wrist right back here. OK. So I'll hit return. OK, that looks pretty good. Um, let's see, right here in this, the whole thing up a little bit, like so. All right, that looks good. So let's go over here and let's add in some joints for the fingers, okay? So what I'll do is um, I'll start by going to my front panel right here. And I'm going to go to Skeleton Joint Tool, and I'm going to insert a joint right here, and then one over here. So joint size is too large, so I'll change the radius on this down to 0.2. Uh, select each of these and change it down to 0.2. So now what I'll do is I'll go to my top panel. I'll select this and move it over. I'm going to go to um, wireframe on shaded right here. And I'm going to just move this over slightly. And then I'll take this section at the end here and move this over. Now what I want to do is now I want to insert additional joints in here. So I'm going to go to Skeleton, Insert Joint Tool. And I'll click on the first joint and just drag over. And then I'll let go. And then I'll click again on this joint and drag over. And now I have two additional joints that I can work with. 
All right, so here now I'll go to my front panel, and I'll just move this stuff up. I'm going to turn on my wireframe on shaded here, and then I'll have to move this down, I think. Just wanted to kind of check and make sure that's all lined up here. Okay. So now what I'll do is um, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'll hit uh, Command D or on a PC Control D. I'll move this over. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unparent the last joint here. So I'll hit Shift P and I'm going to delete the middle joints here. So now I just have the beginning and the end. So I'll just move this over right here. Okay. So I will select this stuff and I'm actually going to duplicate it and move it over. And then I'll select this, move this over. Maybe take this and push it back a little bit. So I'll select these two, hit Command D, move it over. All right. So now I'm going to kind of place the joints here. So I'll move this up in, move this, oops, let's see here, up. in Okay, so let's now see take this joint, maybe move it down slightly. Okay, so we've kind of placed beginning and end joints on our hand here. So I'll select the last joint, select the first joint, and then hit P to parent. And then I'll go to my top panel, and I'll go to uh, Insert Joint Tool, and I'll just click and drag to insert joints here. So then um, I'll go over here. My perspective panel, and I'm going to kind of move this stuff up. And I think this one I can go down. So we're just kind of checking and making sure that, that joint is inside the uh, finger, all those joints. So I'll go to the next one now. I'll select the uh, child and then the parent and hit P to parent it. I'll switch over here to the top panel. And I'll go to Insert Joint Tool, and I'll insert a joint right here, and then another one right here. Switch over here to my Perspective panel, and we'll start to move this stuff around. Okay, I'll take this guy and move it down. Okay. All right, let me select this uh, end joint and then the beginning joint, hit P to parent. Go over here to the top panel, um, insert joint tool. Hit Q, and let's uh, place these joints. All right. Actually, this needs to come back in. It's a little hard to uh, manage the fingers because you always you can't look at it from an orthographic view because you have these little fingers are always overlapping. 
Okay, I think we're close enough on that. All right, let's work on the thumb. So I'm going to go to my top panel here. I'll insert a joint here, right where the thumb and hand meet. Do another joint at the end of the chain right here, and then I'll um, change the radius on this stuff. So this will be point 0.2. And then let's insert two more joints. Actually, before we do that, let's um, move our joint up. So let's move it into place. And hit F here. And I'll just move this joint down. Okay. So now I'll insert those other two joints that I need. I need another joint kind of close to that one. And then one more kind of at the end of the thumb here. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, this is a good place to save our work. So I'm gonna go to File, and then I'll go to Save Scene As, and I'm gonna save this as Cartoon Cat Rig, and we're gonna say this is gonna be 01 Skeleton, and we'll save it just like this. And then what we'll do is in the next video, we'll start to name all these joints and connect them and mirror them across.